Hello everybody and welcome to Miss Clue, Formula for Danger. This is a game that's free to play on the internet. It's sort of a mixture of Nancy Drew and Pride and Prejudice. So as soon as I heard that, I knew I had to play this game. In this video, I will be going through Chapter 1. Dear Nixie, it's really exciting being here on the lake at my aunt and uncle's lodge. Not many guests have arrived yet, so I've had plenty of time to do a little relaxing and catch up on some much-needed reading. The piney air is so crisp and fresh, I haven't been able to keep myself indoors. Of course the fishing is great. In fact, I think it's the best in the world. My aunt and uncle are currently building a new cabin as an addition to the Twin Pine Resort, so more guests can stay during the summer. She left me with her number and told me to call right when I got done writing to you. I have to say, you love it here. I mean, even learning some exciting cooking skills. But using the appliances in the kitchen can be a little bit tricky. Aunt Ellen warned me about the stove and said not to turn it on until I've asked her first. I wouldn't want to start any fires after all. I've only been here a few days, but I can't help feeling a little bit uneasy. It's probably just my imagination. Nevertheless, every time I shirk up that peculiar feeling, it creeps back up my spine and reminds me. You should tell Rad it isn't windy enough yet to go sailing on the lake so he doesn't have to worry. It's just a quiet, peaceful vacation in the wilderness. Or so I hope. I'll keep you posted. Love, Jane. Okay, I can totally see the influence of the earlier Nancy Drew games in, in this game. I love my sheep. I love my sheep. I love my sheep. It's such a beautiful sheep. I love my sheep. What about your mermaid? You don't love your mermaid? Oh no, poor mermaid. Oh dear. Okay, so our main character is Miss Clue, um, Jane Darcy. So I guess she is the daughter of Mr. Darcy and Lizzie Bennet from Pride and Prejudice. Hmm, interesting, interesting. And what, the telephone? Did they have telephones in the early 1800s? Because I don't think they did. Huh. Hmm, okay. Hello? Hi, Aunt Alice. I'm all done with my letter. Oh, good. Your uncle and I will be staying here at the cabin for a bit longer to finish up the fireplace. How are you doing there? Is there a character named Ellen in Pride and Prejudice? Cause, cause I know there's the, there's all the sisters in Pride and Prejudice, but none of them are named Ellen. I'm, huh? Why am I so confused already? Let me just ask about donuts. I'm great. You mentioned something about donuts before you left. Oh yes, dear. The guests will be back from boating soon. Could you finish up those donuts for me? I got them rising before I left. Just go down to the kitchen and turn right. They should be right there. I'm not sure I know how to fry donuts. Do you have any suggestions? Donuts are as easy as pie, dear. Just watch them carefully when they're sizzling in the oil. When they start to look golden brown, turn them over. Be sure you do it gently because the oil can splash. I think I can do that. Oh, thank you, dear. To get started, all you have to do is turn the burner on and light it with a match. I know I've told you this a hundred times, but be careful around that hot oil and try not to get it on your clothing. Oh, oh, and also be sure and turn off the burner before you leave. Thank you, Aunt Ellen. Good luck with your fireplace. Goodbye, dear. Call if you need anything. Um, what's going on with her fireplace? She has a fireplace? I don't know. Let's check out this pamphlet. Hello. Hi again, Aunt Ellen. How are you doing, dear? Uh, uh, sorry, Aunt Ellen. I wasn't trying to call you. I was trying to look at the pamphlet. Huh, so I can't look at the pamphlet. Right, okay, okay, you can't look at the pamphlet. It's just, it just looks like you can look at it. That's all. Hello? Hi again, Aunt Ellen. How are you doing, dear? That's all. Talk to you soon. Goodbye, dear. Call if you need anything. Poor Aunt Ellen must be so confused. I just called you three times in a row. Okay, so what else do we have here in this room? It looks like we've got, um... I love my sheep. More pamphlets in the corner, but we cannot look at pamphlets. So let's look over here. 
Ah, luggage. Okay, what's in my luggage? I have... My favorite shirt. I have a shirt for the website, Virtual Family Kingdom. That's the website where you can play this game. All you have to do is register an account, and it lets you play this game, along with several other games. And what's this? A pony? My pony, Bubbles. Oh. My pony, Twinkle. Wait, you have two ponies? You have way too many ponies, Jane. Jane, quit hogging all the ponies. And I imagine that's an advertisement for another game offered by this company. Ooh, my diary. Can I read my diary? Can I not? I'll probably use this later. Oh, okay. Well, I'll probably use that later then. And this is a picture? I'm pretty sure I've been there before. Huh. You have? Was there a different game in the series? I don't know. Anyway, we're going downstairs. This is a very blue house. I have a blue house with a blue window. Burp, burp. Blue is the color of all that I wear. Whoa, hold on a second. Daytime? Nighttime. Daytime? Nighttime. Daytime? Nighttime. All right. So let's get, let's get some keys. I don't... Oh, I can't get any of the keys? It looks like the key to the boat shack is gone. It looks like the key to the boat shake is gone? Is that like a milkshake with boats? It looks like the key to the boat shack is gone. And I think they misspelled cellar too. Okay, okay, I'm being a nerd and, and correcting their, their spelling. Sorry, sorry, my six year old daughter daughter, I gave her I gave her a spelling test last night. So I, I'm still in I'm still in spelling mode. What is let's go outside. I can't go until I have all my chores done. Oh, okay, fine. We we have to make the donuts, and once you make the donuts it will be the end of this uh chapter. It's locked. Oh no, it's locked. Well, can't you get the it's key? Locked. The keys are right over here. You can get the key, Jane, right? No. No! Hmm. Maybe we'll be able to do that later on. For now, it looks like we're we're not doing anything in that area. Okay, I can just look at the closet. I can't get anything from the closet. Whoa, hey, hey. When I right-click, it tells me that I'm using Flash to play this game. Flash! I need a donut. Oh, the heat is off. It's ruined. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, wait. What if... Okay, now I've got a donut everywhere. Um, what if this key here... Ah, oh, oh, oh. I was gonna say, what if the key in my inventory is the key for the door? But now I'm now I've got donuts. Okay, trying this again. Oh, the heat is off. It's ruined. Now I close this. Now I back away. Now I go to the door and try to open it with my key. It's locked. It's locked. Okay, apparently not the right key. And now donut time. Let me put the key away. Grab a donut from... I mean, grab the match from there. Now, donut cooking! It looks ready to turn. Looking good. That's all there is to donuts. You just wait for her to say something and then you click on the donut. So how many donuts do I need to make? Five, six, seven, twelve? It looks ready to turn. Looking good. I guess we just keep going until we're done. That looks done. That one came out perfect. So is this how people make donuts in real life? They just fry them on the 
on the uh, stove. It looks ready to turn. Looking good. Cause I gotta be honest, you know, like Aunt Ellen said something about oil splashing. I don't understand how Jane is not drenched in oil and and on fire right now. Cause that's what happens whenever I try to cook something on the stove. Even if I try to cook something simple like burgers, it, it's like oil jumping all around, flashing and smashing me in the face and giving me scars. And ow. Yeah, bad times, bad times. So I wonder what happens if I mess up on purpose. Oh, I can't mess up on purpose. I mean, I'm clicking here, the game... The game isn't accepting it if you click too early. <laughs> okay. How many more donuts do we have left? I guess we're making 12. It looks ready to turn. That looks good. That looks that one came out perfect. Yeah, I wish they would tell us how many donuts we need to make. Uh, I would like to know how close I am to finishing this challenge. It looks ready to turn. Looking good. That looks done. That one came out perfect. Oh, still not finished. Okay, we're going for 12 donuts. I have to say, this donut challenge is okay. Doing it 12 times in a row, maybe not so good. You know, let's try something. Let's try losing. Let's try losing the challenge and not flipping it. Okay, it doesn't look like you can lose the challenge. And am I not done? I'm still not done. More donuts! Oh. It looks ready to Looking turn. Good. Apparently we have a clock somewhere. That looks done. That All done. done. Perfect. Okay, we're finally done. Okay, we're finished with the donuts. Can I look at them? No. I made all those donuts and I can't even look at them. Can I look at anything here? No. Okay, whatever. Let's finish the chapter.